So before we start, um, I'm just going to tidy up this section here. Um, if I go into show, I just want to add a break here so we can return things so it looks a bit cleaner. All right, so um, we are going to work on email submitted, saving comments and showing success and failure flash messages. So we'll start with our comments controller. So we want to double check uh, first that a visitor doesn't already exist. So if a visitor exists, we want to use that visitor's record so we don't have duplicate records. Um, so I'm going to tidy this up a bit. So we'll find a visitor if one matches the email address that was entered. All right, and then we'll do something here. All right, so if a visitor exists, so we want to uh, use that visitor and tap, and we want to add comments into the visitor like that. All right, and comments attributes, and we end. All right, so if a visitor exists, we go ahead and uh, build the visitor by uh, attaching comments to it. And then everything else will just flow. And here we can say if save. So again, we're checking if the save was successful. We have a flash message uh, for uh, created new comments. And then otherwise, we want to have um, an alert that says there was a problem creating your comments. All right, so that is something done. So let's have a look and see if it all, if it all works. Uh, so in our Vistas table, uh, we have um, some dummy data I have duplicated here already, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to copy this here, and paste, and put a different name, and I paste this here. So what I'm trying to say is when we add this comment, I don't create a new user called dude, but use Kingsley instead. All right, so there's a mistake somewhere. Ah, So we need to add zero string here. All right, so that matches up with what was sent over from the view. So now if I save this, we can see it successfully saved and it says Kingsley and not dude. So that's what we wanted to do. So have a look at our comments table. We have a new comment here, um, which uses the same ID as Kingsley. But we have these fields which are null, which we can fix. All right, so, but that's, that was successful. Um, to fix the null fields, I'm going to generate a migration and change uh, the comments status default. So at the moment, the default is null, we want to change that. So look in here, migration, the last one, this is where we're going to put our migration into. Uh, the documentation um, has a change column default um, method that we can use. All right, so here I'm going to say uh, change column defaults, and I give it the name of our table, comments table, change status default to be false. So if we don't supply status, uh, save it as false. All right, so rake db migrate to apply the changes to our database schema. Now that is done, let's have a look at our database and just to have a look at the, restart that, so it's, have a look at the structure for comments so we can see the default is f for false. All right, so now that should work. Let's come here and say dude again. Um, make sure we are using an existing um, email address. So when we click on save, the system will um, find this user and use that user's full name um, rather than duplicate it. All right, so here we go and we save and we can see Kingsley was used, not do it again. And we have a look at our database uh, for comments. The record is there and it's false by default. That's great. So I'm going to manually add this um, F and F here, and then commit. All right, so uh, email submitted already as this is done, save comments is done, and we can save that. Um, what else do we need to do? So this is done, this record is there. Um, active record, so we have uh, scopes, which we are going to have a look at. So we have, uh, this is published, 
and whenever it's called it gives us where publish is true so we could uh, use the same um, here so if we have uh, a look at a list of um, unapproved comments uh, down here we have uh, Kingsley 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 so the ones we just made um, so we have them here so we, we don't want to show unapproved uh, comments so we want to use this uh, scope so in our comments model we can say scope approved so create a method called approved and when we run this method on a collection uh, filter it by status true so um, that's what it does so this is basically a short way of writing uh, this here so it's just a more concise um, way of doing stuff so we can now copy that um, and we can say comments dot approved dot each so this will basically give us only the approved comments comments with status true reset this and we can see the unapproved ones have disappeared awesome so here we can click on approve and come here reset we can see the approved is back and we can approve this one here and reset we can see uh, this is approved and so on and so on so we have view scopes and we can filter um, a collection using that so again here we have a similar situation where we have posts and we can tidy things up a bit by using scopes again so I'm going to say scope create a method called published and uh, when it's run on a collection uh, give me where status is true and actually if we come here we might need to copy a bit more than that so we have um, we could order by ID descending so just change this to publish is true and ID is descending so now we can copy published and we can delete all this and just paste publish there and everything will just work perfectly so if we have a look here uh, all posts everything is there as it should be and also when we uh, go into this here we have this is done but we haven't tested failure so I will leave this until I've tested the failure section and we'll, uh, we're going to work on the rest of it um, in the next tutorial so we've looked at all this we've looked at change column defaults we've looked at scopes which is really good and that's it for this um, tutorial I'll see you in the next lesson